On this week's episode, the loophole for getting drunk on a plane. How you can get first class tipsy cheaper than ever. Also, the dream job for lovers. Which company is reviewing mattresses made for sex? And a new segment, real or fake headlines. Headlines to make you go, hmm... Thank you for joining another episode of Anchors Away. I am Robert Burns, along with Norma Holland, former TV news anchors. Now, we have fun with the news instead of just getting paid for it. Make sure, as we start every episode with this disclaimer, make sure you subscribe. It's free. Do it on Apple Podcasts. Do it on Spotify, wherever you listen. Hopefully coming to Heart Radio sometime soon. Hopefully, but thank you for joining us for this is episode nine of the show. Norma, we've been doing this for a little over two months, wow. and uh, we've we still haven't hung out in person in two yeah. months. But the great thing is, so uh, for those of you just joining us and who have maybe you've never um, um, don't know much about us, I met Robert through my job at the Digital Hive, and uh, Robert works for Sun King. So we we met um, through business, and we realized we had very similar backgrounds. And I thought, okay, this guy and I, I think we'll really get get along. We'll hit it off great. Um, you know, could totally have seen myself anchoring with you in a past life. And we thought, wait a minute, we could do that, but in a podcast. Mm-hmm. All right, let's do that. So, you know what, COVID be damned, we decided to do this podcast. And, and, and you know, through your uh, technical genius, we've been able to pull this off. We're pulling something off because this is the first time we're not only recording the show, we're actually also broadcasting it on Facebook Live, and it's the first time in a while that either of us have been on TV without caring about hair or makeup or what the hell we're wearing right now. I've got an old raggedy Dodgers t-shirt on, and Norma has a shirt that I swear, if you're on our Facebook Live, she looks like she just came from a Greek vacation. I did. Opa! Opa! Mykonos. Just kidding. I'm going to break some dishes and have a little ouzo after the show. Uh, Yeah, I almost joined you. (laughs) Well, once I realized we were going to be on camera, I was like, well, I ain't wearing any makeup, so what you see is what you get. <laughs> so uh, anyway, we hope that you do subscribe to our show. Share it with your friends. Um, Robert and I are pretty open and honest about a lot of things and uh, just about the news and just about life. You know, life has been mm-hmm. kind of uh, throwing us a little bit of a curveball. But um, we tend to find a, or curate the funniest, best stories each week. Robert, really, to his credit, has done this. Every week he finds the most outrageous stories. So I can't wait to get started let's do it bro so let's go with our first headline of the week and we're going to keep this pretty topical on this one because it's something that we all can relate to uh it is the clorox wipes shortage of 2020 and it is only going to get worse if you're looking for those little handy i love those handy wipes i swear if i clean my house with nothing else i will use clorox wipes for the rest of my life if i can yeah, no, I love it. They are so convenient, and they get rid of so many germs in one fell swoop. Um, but I've become kind of obsessed about finding these Clorox wipes. I really have. I'm, it's almost like a, it's like a hobby of mine. Occasionally, you can find them on Amazon. Mm-hmm. Occasionally. But this is like the black market, and you're not going to be able to find, well, you probably won't be able to find them now. What they're saying is Clorox wipes are not going to be available until 2021. We're going to listen to a quick clip from CBS LA to give you the actual news before we start ripping it apart. Tear it up. As soon as it loads. I love technology. There might be an ad here. <laughs> We're going to pay for this somehow. I only have limited bandwidth people. I'm going to stretch a little while you work on that. This Please do. do with TV. We would stretch. I would like banter with the weather guy. Uh, so, Marty, let's talk about the forecast. Uh, yeah, boy. Last night and, uh, oh, very humid out. Although I understand we can open the windows this evening. It's a little more refreshing out there. Maybe you've already noticed it. We good? Yeah. Keep as, I do, as I do the stretch motion with stretch. my hands, which really means I'm refreshing the page right now yeah. because, <laughs> again, I'm streaming. I'm also watching the basketball game. Bear with Come us, on, everyone. You are doing too many things. Men cannot multitask. Uh, men cannot. And apparently my Mac cannot either. So if it starts with an M, multitasking right now is not our forte. Like, 
<laughs> you're like, uh, I don't know about that. But I, I really am. I always go into Target, and I know where the Clorox wipes are. I know where they should be. It's not like they're going to move them. And I'm always surprised every time when I walk through and I see that that shelf is completely bare. And it has been that way for months now. I'm sick of it. I, I know, like, you know, okay, first world problems. But um, so I found one, one 35 white package um, the other day. Mm-hmm. And uh, I bought it, and you know the the woman um, in the aisle, the the employee was like, "Yeah, I just put that back up there." It was a reshop. She goes, "I just put that back up there like five minutes ago." She goes, "They're gone as soon as we put them out." No doubt. Wegmans had them the other day. Costco had them the other day, uh, in a five pack, and it was one per customer. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it was tough. It's tough. You cannot find them very often, and when you do, there's limits on them. Um, but here's the thing, folks: it doesn't kill COVID. Did you know that? Oh, yeah. No. Clorox wipes don't kill well, COVID. it says, what, 99%, but it does not kill what we are looking to kill. Mainly just for me, it gets the sticky off the counter. Yes. That's all yes. I really care yeah. about is yeah. the stupid sticky on the counter. Because, and it's funny because I, I know I have a few boxes or tubs, whatever they are of them, and I have almost forgotten that they are in short supply. Yeah. And so I've started to use them a yeah. little bit more often than I should. And that's probably not the best idea when it comes to running short on supply, right? Well, and that's the thing is stuff that we notice are in short supply. I worry about the fall, including the Clorox wipes. Um, but now that you're telling me they're not going to be in full stock till next year. Um, but I was in Wegmans the other day. Where was the paper towel to be found? Really? Uh, oh, hunty. Not a, I... not a roll to be found nowhere. Not a okay. square to spare? Not a square. Not, not, a, not a square to spare, my friend. Although, to be honest, a paper towel roll is a rectangle, but nothing really goes with it. But whatevs, ain't one to be found. I mean, you can find <laughs> toilet paper. You can't give toilet paper away now. You can't give it away for free. People no, don't want it. The aisle is stacked on that one, and so is my, my cabinet over here. I am rich in toilet paper, in paper towels. If that was Wait. currency right now, I would be, I would be King Midas. Wait, but what do, you, what do you hoard, though, Robert? Be honest. What do you hoard? Come on. We all have that thing we hoard that we're like, oh, and I got to have that. You know what? I really don't. I'm not really? I'm not a hoarder. Uh, I, I, I have so much because at the time, everybody was buying it. But how much toilet paper can I freaking go through in, in how many months? Like, if I'm using that much, I have a bigger problem than running low on TP. So but TP was sort of pointless because it wasn't we weren't using more TP. No. And, and if you really needed it, you could have just gone. You could have had it delivered. You could have. There's Instacart. I mean, you know. I mean, quite you're honestly. Be okay, with the with the twelve pack you had. If I could have gotten away with using Clorox wipes on my behind, I probably <laughs> would have. That's not the worst idea to have. Uh, but if you can't find them, you're kind of out of luck. So. You're using Clorox on your booty, Robert. Come on. Hey, the quicker picker upper, super clean, and it's killing all ninety nine percent of that bacteria. Uh, I don't think this story is going to load, but you get the idea. Clorox wipes will not be fully stocked in stores until 2021. People like myself, a little sad about it. It's going to be okay. It, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. Just just like this first broadcast with my internet bandwidth. It's not working out the way I wanted it to. Come on, it's fun to watch, though. This is, like, live. It's this, is, this, is, this is pretty good. It's okay. We have a couple of, a couple of followers on here, and I would love to see if we have any sort of uh, comments or anything like that, let us just comment on the yeah. video right now. You can watch it on uh, my Facebook page at Robert Burns TV, or you can watch it on Norma. She shares it as well uh, at Norma Holland. There you go. Uh, is this thing on, folks? Hey, let us know. What are you thinking? Are you laughing? Are you hoarding toilet paper? Are you hoarding paper towel? Do you know where I can find some Clorox wipes? A girl's got to know. Robert's got to get that sticky stuff off his counter. Oh, not just the counter. And so with that being said, we move on to story number two. All right, we do want to thank our sponsor for this show, Anchor. It's the easiest way for us to bring you the podcast. They give us everything we need. It's all in one place. And most importantly, it's all free. Everything on our iPhones, on our iPads, on our computers, all the creation tools to edit, it's all included. And they distribute the show for us. Send it to Spotify, send it to Apple, send it to Google. So you can start your own podcast, get in on the game, download the Anchor app, or go to anchor.fm to get started. Uh, story number two is pretty interesting. Um, I, am, I, I, I bought a house, 
I had a house that I've had for a while. But anyway, so I have a house. And so I'm looking, we're going to buy a new bed. So now I'm thinking, okay, great. I got to do all this mattress shopping. I just, I just kind of did this. I got swindled. Mom is taking the bed I just bought. So now I get to buy another one, which is fine because I love mom. <laughs> She's a really good swindler. And so they have this, this story out here that I saw. I'm kind of interested because I am a dude. And so when the headline reads, hey, want to make $3,000 by having sex on a bunch of different mattresses? <sighs> Of course, oh, my dream job sensors kicked in. It was more like my teenage dream job sensors, but it still mm-hmm. kicked in. And this is real. Norma, had, I, I don't know if you had a chance to read the whole article on this. I get it. I'm not going to lie. I get it. Would you do it, though, is the question. What are you getting, Robert? What are you getting? Are you I, telling people I, something? I'm, I'm getting <laughs> I understand why they're doing this. And quite honestly, I'd be okay with the results on this. Hold on a second. Let me turn on the lights in this room. It's so dark. I can't even see myself. Hold on. (laughs) Keep talking. (laughs) Okay, so here's the gist of the story for everyone out there listening and watching, as our our followers have actually gotten up a little bit. So the story is, for $3,000, there is a website called Sleep Standards, and they publish advice and product reviews. And so they are offering five couples $3,000, as long as you're okay and willing to bone on a bunch of different mattresses no. and then let them know how the hell it was. You did not just say that, Robert, with I, your dirty mind. I, I go right to the point because in the show description, we say we keep it real. Okay. And oh. we are. It is what it is. That's what's happening. The goal, what they want to do is be able to find the best of the best sex mattresses because obviously this is something that people are looking for. I've never exactly. considered this. I really just want to worry about, is it comfortable enough to sleep in? And I'll worry about the rest later on. You know, that's amazing. So what's the name of this? Um, what's the name of the retailer? Like, who, who's the mattress maker? Is it one of the... Well, um, it, well, they're reviewing different mattresses. And it doesn't say exactly which ones you will be reviewing. Could be a Sleep Number. Could be a Casper. Could be one of those avocado. I saw a commercial for avocado mattress. Could be one of those. They don't say what the, ma- what the mattress brand is. Correct. Purple. Okay. They just say you'll be given a bunch of different mattresses and give your feedback on each new experience on the mattress. Oh, my. Can I so, just... Um... Can I, did you go over the follow? Did you go over the criteria, Robert? I haven't. I just I, I, I just want to look at this one quote where they say they will send you a new mattress every week. And all you have to do is give them honest reviews on how good that mattress is for sex. That's it. Oh Everyday God. life, Here. regular sex. They don't want any of the kinky stuff. They don't want any of the pineapple safe words. They want everyday normal nookie. Okay, so here are the following criteria, folks. Bounciness, noise, firmness, edge, support, comfort, cooling, and an overall score. I feel like these are all also ratings that you could give your partner on top of the mattress as well. You knew that was coming, lady. You know? Come on. Oh, never mind. Oh, next story, please. I I, I mean, I want to know. I would love to know. What other people out there, when they hear that headline, is that something that kind of gets you, hmm, okay, I would, I would, hey, honey, what do you think of this? What do you, we can get a, a couple of free mattresses and, uh, you know, do the hibbity dibbity. Do the hibbity, the hip, the hop, the, the hibbity. to the hibbity, hip, hip, ha, hop, you don't stop a rocking. <laughs> you don't stop. Oh, no. Oh, to the bang, bang, boogie, said up, that. jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogity beat. <laughs> Skip it a bop, a wee bop, a scooby doo. Well, guess what, Norma? We love you. Oh my God, you have talents I don't, I don't even, I have never heard of before. Okay. I have, I have the most useless memory. In if, if if they have trivia night, I'm horrible. If it's useless <laughs> trivia night, I am really good at it. I will help you win money on really good useless trivia. But for the most part, I, I, I really am an idiot most days. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I love it. What's the next story? I love this next one. Is this the... Uh... Uh, the next one is is actually a pretty fun one. And I think we have all been waiting to find out the secret to this next story. I'm excited about this because I didn't know this was a thing. I didn't yeah. even know that there was a loophole that was perfect for the rest of us. And there is one where airlines 
I mean, somebody realized this. Airlines cannot stop you from bringing your own booze on board, but they can forbid you from drinking it. So there is a loophole to drinking on airplanes on the cheap. I love this. And this is so cool. So you can bring it with you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's okay. Yep. BYOB. But you're going to need to let a flight attendant serve it to you. Um, uh, You'll need to ask for help. To, to be able to drink. They have to open it for you. They have to crack them. Yeah, they can't let you just sit there and snap, crackle, pop your own. Corking. Yeah, it's right. a corking, which is silly because, I mean, they're not making any money off of it. Uh, not all airlines are allowing it, though. Well, I think they're probably hip to the jive, but they're, they they got to be able to, to sit there. And, and, and I would imagine if somebody gets on a plane right now and you're fine, if you don't, if you're not drunk as it is and you just want to have a couple of whatever, you know, of those miniature liquor bottles you bring, which they have to be the small ones. If you want to bring those on there and you want to pop them open yourself, um, you know, they'll look at you. I think they have that discretion to say, hey, you know what, we're not going to do this or sure. Why the hell not? You know, Um, and they can cut you off, too. Yes. They can cut you off if they feel like you've had too many. They can be like, yeah, you know what? I've just served you four of these little suckers. You're done. You're out. So flight attendants have have essentially become they become bartenders. But this only brings one. All about it. All Where about is your that. Cowboy hat, Robert. Where is your cowboy hat? I used to have one. Um, Stop. I mean, believe it or not, because of course I lived in Texas for a few years before I moved here to uh, Western New York. But I grew up in South Florida, and so there is a very large and heavy country music presence. But I was the mainstream country guy. I was the guy with the straw hat and the big belt buckle and the well at the time I'm going to date this the get her done T-shirt. You know, I had holes in my jeans. I wore dress shoes, not cowboy boots. Like, I was that guy. So there is a redneck, yeehaw, having fun kind of side to me. But it's it's deep oh, in there. It's I like deep. the yeehaw in you. I really do. Mm-hmm. The yeehaw! You're one of the few, Norma. You are one of the few. I, you know, I can hang, too, though, people think. Oh, no, uh, yes, I can. I know, I know. Hey, uh, we, we, we have John Gallette, who, a buddy of mine, watching, uh, watching us on Facebook Live. He says hello, so uh, we'll give John a big actual wave since he sent us hey, John. the Facebook wave. Um, but, yeah, I would love to know, if, is anybody, when they begin to start traveling again, going to think about you know, bringing on a couple of those mini bottles? And if they were, Norma, what would you bring? What's your drink? Oh, my gosh. For me, I'd keep it simple. So what I'll probably do... Um, is uh, bring some kind of um, rum or something mm-hmm. to mix mm-hmm. and then a mixer, right? Like I'll bring a can of Coke and some, you know, some um, Bacardi mm. uh, to mix it with, yeah. I like how you yeah. made sure to give your ethnicity a shot there Bacardi. and not just yeah. say Bacardi like the rest Bacardi. of us. Bacardi. 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 Bacardi lemon. Bacardi. For those of you wondering when he refers to my ethnicity, I'm Puerto Rican. Yes. Yes, yeah, she is very proud Weba. of it. Despite the Greek shirt, she is very proud of it. Uh, um, I'm having fun with this show. This is a fun episode fun for us. Shirt. You're really having fun with my shirt. It's because it's bright. And you know what? Yeah. Normally, by the time we do this show... Uh, a hot damn mess. I mean, you've, you've put two kids to sleep. Uh, but usually the lights are super dim because we don't care. No one's watching. No one cares. I got to get a diva light now because if we go and do this, we got to do it upright. Uh, you're going to make me do my hair, aren't you? Oh, you with your hair, and your mm. pretty curly hair. Ugh, you're just the worst kind of person. You um, love it. So I have uh, one more one more thing. Actually, I, I've now added one and a half more things. Um, because we have one thing in here. It's not going to take long for me to get to one of my favorite segments of every week. And if you've never listened to the show before, we call this the literal worst. The tradition of Festivus begins... With the airing of grievances. I got a lot of problems with you people. Now, you're going to hear about it. I didn't think I was going to have one this week until I walked my dog earlier today. And we're still in the apartment right now. And so we walk down the stairs and I look out the window and what do I see? Someone in their car in the parking lot. Not a problem. But what I don't understand and I'll never get, and I think it's the literal worst, is when I see someone with their feet 
hanging out of the front, your face, out of the front door windows, whether it's the driver or the passenger, when you hang your little nasty, long-toed, Walmart, dirty bottom feet out the window, I can't stand it. That's funky. That is nasty. That's a bad... Don't put your feet on the table and don't put your feet out the window. That's Nobody. Close. Nobody, Nobody wants, wants to see the bottom of your feet. Nobody no part of it. Nobody wants to see your feet, period. No part of this. So to me, that is what I say this week is the literal worst. Yay or nay? Oh, yay. Okay. I'm sorry. If you can catch dinner with your toes, no. <laughs> <laughs> with your toenails, if they could, like, you know, skewer oh. a kebab. You don't, no. I, you don't need, there, there's not a breeze outside. It's 82 <laughs> and muggy. All right. It's just nasty. <laughs> Leave them inside. And, and I've seen this and, I, and I've mostly, I've seen this from women in the passenger window, hanging them out as they're driving along the highway, like wiggling. Well, because they saw it on a Pinterest page somewhere. Like, oh, look at this. Isn't this great? No. Sticking my feet up. No, girl. Cause you're no. going to get them cut off by a passing, no. tr- a passing car or or a bus. Those bunions are not Instagram worthy. Move along. That is what <laughs> I am putting an end to it today. Move along. Can we, can we do this next thing? Because I'm so excited about it. This yes. next feature. This next feature, it's a new segment that we're bringing in. And for this, we will give you the actual uh, news music intro. This is called Real or Fake Headlines. That's not it. I messed up. That, that. This this is it. It's called Real or Fake Headlines. All right, for those of you listening right now um, and watching on Facebook, I want to know which one of these headlines do you think is real and which one of these headlines do you think is fake? Jamie Chambers, I know you're listening, so we appreciate you. Uh, Real or Fake Headlines, here is the one uh, from my list. And it is, man breaks into L.A. fitness, caught on camera doing pandemic push-ups. Is it a real or is it a fake headline? Norma, your headline. Scientists are joining forces to save the so-called scrotum frog. Real or fake? I can't. I can't with the name of this frog. I I can't with the name of this frog. Uh, So is it a real or is it a fake headline? Um, we should do this. What's the best way to do this? Should we, should we give everyone a week? I think so. I think what we do is put the two headlines okay. on either one of our Facebook pages. You let us know which is real and which is fake. I like it. Um, I think this is, there are times when you just can't believe what you're reading. And then there are times when you just get really creative yeah. with headline, with headline writing. Yeah. Yeah. Like and maybe, like maybe we did. And, and I feel like both you and I, in being in the anchor chairs, um, we, <laughs> Jamie says, no, do it now. Uh, being in the anchor chairs, there might be sometimes, there might be a story you glanced over, or maybe you didn't see it right away. And, and you read the damn headline, you're like, wait a minute, that first, was, that, was that, is somebody messing with me? And then you can hear the news anchors pause a little bit as they're reading it, like, that's, that's probably not right. And yeah. I just said that. I- I'm Ron Burgundy. Yeah, I, but 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 I'm not going to go back and correct myself because I don't know yeah. if I'm inaccurate. So I'm going to wait till the next show. Um, and so, okay, well, Jamie wants it now. So for this week, we'll give it to you now as we talk for oh, a few okay. minutes. Jamie, you, you convinced us. Jamie, we love you. So, uh, real or fake headlines? Uh, the fake headline is the man breaking into an LA fitness and <laughs> doing pandemic push-ups. I came up with that because I was thinking, you know, you you haven't heard throughout the past four months anyone breaking into a gym just to work out. I feel like I would believe it, but I haven't heard of it. And so that's why it's fake. It was like a huge thing for them. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they're they're protesting, but they're not breaking in and entering to make sure that they, you know, can go do their deadlifts. Meanwhile, there is actually something called a scrotum frog. This stunned me. I was on Twitter scrolling through, and I saw this headline. A group of international scientists are joining forces to save an unusual endangered species called the scrotum frog. Uh, The frog primarily lives near Lake Titicaca. Of course. Of course, and that's not made up. Uh, which straddles more than 3,200 square miles across the border of Peru and Bolivia. 
the the world's <laughs> largest entirely aquatic frog, whose loose skin folds and flaps, oh, earned God. the species' hey. unfortunate nickname. Um, they are considered endangered due to overharvesting for human consumption. Oh. Trout. Yeah, terrible. It says here, uh, it's hard to estimate how many of the frogs are left given Lake Titicaca's vast, I just like saying that, <laughs> uh, vast size and multitude of habitats. Um, mm. So they, they're trying to save this frog, okay? And if you just go on Twitter and, and just type in scrotum frog, the comments are Oh, hysterical. I don't doubt it. I mean, I... it's just, again, when I was reading this, I'm like, is this a joke? Is this... Is this really a joke? <laughs> no, it's real. No, scrotum that, frog. Gotta that's a thing. Uh, so scrotum snacking is apparent. Scrotum frog snacking, excuse me, is apparently a thing in certain parts of the country. What? Uh, that country, not 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 ours. I don't know of anybody doing that here. I'm not ordering frog legs. I've even lived in Louisiana for a couple of years. Uh, you don't ask. You don't tell. You just oh you just eat. Uh, I hope I never had any of that. But. Um, of course, Lake Titicaca would would be. That's one of those where I would I would 100 percent if I read the article thought this was some fake fake type story. I did. I'm like I'm being punked right now on Twitter. This is exactly what's going on. But no, it's a real thing. You gotta uh, save the frogs. That's funny. Save the scrotum. Frogs. That's funny. Save save Ferris and save the scrotum frogs. Uh, Norma, that's gonna wrap it up for this week's episode of Anchors Away. Uh, again, everybody, please if you're listening on Apple Podcasts uh, anywhere. Leave us a rating. Leave us a comment. Subscribe. Share. Help us spread this show out a little bit more um, because we are this close, this close to actually being a thing. So close. Um, you can find me everywhere on the social medias at Robert Burns TV. Norma. That's right. You can find me on Facebook at Norma Holland at uh, on Twitter at Holland to Norma. And, uh, yeah, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of the show, if you have any ideas, some other literal worsts uh, that maybe you've encountered in your life you want to share with us. That's right. All right. We're going to wrap it up. Thank you for listening. And remember, you can now watch us every week on Facebook Live.